What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of War cast. We are a Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Josh. Welcome to the show, folks. Guys, what is first on the agenda? Shots. Shots. Cheers, brothers. Let's go. What are we shooting? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to know. What is this called? This is this uh, Montana bourbon whiskey. Ooh. That's actually really gross. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, huh? Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, shit. Uh, acquired taste. So, you guys, Johnny Chico was on last week. Yeah, I wasn't able to make it. Wasn't able to make it this week. <laughs> Johnny's last he's, week. He's I'm very kinda... impressed at the commitment that you had to both characters and the fact that the second one was a complete surprise to us. We had... You wore pants under pants, bro. Yeah, well, you know, it happens. <laughs> get older. Get over uh, it. No, I said you get older. <laughs> get <laughs> you get older, and sometimes you need to wear a second pair of pants. It's it's true. Get over it. Uh, but get over it, yeah. yeah. I would uh, put the white ones on top, though. Not, You know what I mean? Oh, you only get one shot. You only get one shot with white pants, bro. <laughs> That's why you got to keep the black ones on, on your deck. When I was in high school, I owned, Break a pair, white pants, huh? I owned a pair of white jeans that I thought were the fucking coolest things, dude. I fucking wore the shit out of those motherfuckers. <laughs> I regret it till this day. <laughs> I think about it every once in a while. Do I'm you have photos of that? There's a video of it, oh, no. actually, because oh, no. in my English class, we were reading some fucking book. I don't remember what it was, but they were like, oh, you guys got to read. You guys got to act out what you think is going to happen, you know? So my buddies and I were like, well, we're going to have fun with it. And we shot like an actual movie. And it was really just us saying a bunch of Simpsons lines through the whole fucking thing. That's all it was. And uh, what I decided, book were you I, decided reading? I don't remember what book it Clockwork was. Clockwork Orange? And so I, what there's, you mean white pants I just, for? I wore the fucking white jeans through that whole video. The white pants so yeah, what is, what were the white pants for? Style, bro. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> what are you, the skipper on Gilligan's Island? Like. <laughs> Style. He grew up with Nick at night. And it's just like, oh, that's fucking. Yeah, uh, that's what I need to wear. <laughs> Walking Holy around school shit, dressed dude. like the skipper. G- <laughs> Gilligan's Island, Marianne or Ginger. The only one that's still left alive. Gilligan? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. How? <laughs> Mr. How? I'm not saying you got a, like, now, current day, bro. I'm talking about back then. <laughs> Just ginger. I'll go with ginger. No, I Marianne was more of a Marianne. Marianne. I'm scared of redheads. So Marianne. I'll go with ginger. Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I like your logic. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's good. I married a redhead, so ginger. So, yeah, man. So we need the people to break the tie. So there's our uh, poll for the week. That's our poll, there we huh? go. Marianne that's fair. Ginger. Marianne Ginger. Until we come up with our dumber one later. Or the skipper and, or, or the Or the skipper and Mr. What's his name? The old dude? Mr. House. Mr. The professor. <laughs> the professor. <laughs> Mr. Howell, right? Um, yes. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Did you did you guys uh did you guys watch that when you were kids? At I all? did. I love Gilligan's Island, dude. Yeah. yeah. I uh I probably at some point in my life I've probably watched every episode, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Gilligan's Island. Golden Girls. I'm there favorite. with Golden Girls, but I think Gilligan's Island, all I know is from the ALF episode uh, where he had a reoccurring dream that he was on the Gilligan's island. Island? Hmm. <laughs> That's got to be a pretty funny ALF episode. Yeah, and ALF, big ass ALF 2 was a funny episode. What was it that ALF always ate? Wasn't he always trying to cats. eat cats? Cats. Yeah. So he was eating neighborhood cats. That was a good show. Cats and avocados. ALF was always trying to eat that pussy, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Dude, there's a f- ass load of fucking reunion tours coming up, guys. <clears throat> the first yeah. one being... The Pussycat Dolls. The Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I think of an ass reunion. The, but. the first one being Creed, Three Doors Down. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are a couple of asses. What do you guys, what do you guys I, think of this Creed reunion thing? I'm going to be honest. I love Creed, so I... Okay. I and I've never seen them live, so if I can, I'd probably go see this So, too. So you're into this. Go. I'm into it. Um, not like everything Creed did, but, you know, the album that it was the, my own prison. Fucking, open. Is yeah. That, yeah, you're into that? Yeah. Right. Fucking, yeah, dude. Uh, I think Creed gets a bad rap, you know? It's kind of mm-hmm. like Nickelback. Okay. 
You know, I think uh, Alter Bridge is um, really cool. I think the whole Tremonti thing is really cool. I think uh, it seems like a weird step for me in my perspective where the way I view it is I feel like this is a great opportunity for Scott Sapp to kind of jump back in there. But I feel like some of the other guys, I don't really feel like there's really the opportunity. I feel like they already have the opportunity. So kind of, I don't, I'm kind of missing on what's in it for them other than like, Hey, I love Creed. It's my band. And if they're doing it for that reason. Great. But I just, do you think it's just a cash grab? I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I do are starting think at. that that tour is going to do really well. Oh, I'm sure yeah. it is. I'm sure it is. And you know, I, I, you know, I don't want to like put anything bad out there on their part. Like they're trying to like do that, but you know, I'm just saying like it, it just, to me, it seems like a really great opportunity for Scott Sapp. And I feel like it's a really great opportunity for those guys to like maybe put down some other things they're doing because if, if Scott Sapp goes in whatever direction at one point, like he has in the past, what happens to their careers because of it, you know? Just saying, I feel like this is a great opportunity for Scott Sapp, but more of a risk for the other for guys. The other guys in the band. If, yeah, yeah, that's. I mean, that's just maybe I'm wrong, but that's just the way I view it. But yeah, dude, what do you think? I don't know. What do you think? I think this is like 2000s radio thrown up into a concert. For well, sure. the tour is called Summer of '99 Tour. Yeah, there you go. And, yeah, that makes sense. But like I was explaining to Josh, it. Oh, yeah, the other bands that are on it, Daughtry, well, Switch, Switchfoot. And then you see here that they're doing a stop August 31st in San Bernardino where it's and beyond. So it's summer 99 and beyond, and it has Finger 11 and Fuel and, Fuel and Verve Fuel. Pipe and Vertical Horizon, which are all like those kind of 2000. The last days of war. Run it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Fuck no. no. That, that's not going to work. Not at all. No. We weren't that, around back then. What are your thoughts, Josh? We were talking about that, and he had to show me who Vertical Horizon was because I did not recognize the name of the band. And then once he showed me the song, oh, yeah, I got this. Mm-hmm. Then he shows me Verve Pipe, and I thought it was the same fucking song, too. <laughs> like, so, uh, uh, Do you remember Fanger 11? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They were a... Uh, I remember all your finger. <laughs> I remember every finger, bro. <laughs> it's like that 13th inch <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying Finger Eleven. Go ahead. Uh, Canadian band. Fuck yeah. those guys. Okay. <laughs> Is that where you were going with it? Were you going no, with it? I was just just saying. Like I I haven't heard of those guys in a while. Yeah, you know. It's been a I mean, while. you know, I mean, I don't think I've heard anything from Ver Pipe or Vertical Horizon in a bit. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting show. Give me give me the popular fuel song. I'm I'm struggling to remember with who fuel hemorrhage. Okay, yes, I remember that song. Okay, but yeah, in it, my hands. Quotation in my hands. That's fuel. And then yeah. uh, another one would be Motley Crue. That dude, isn't this like their fucking eighteen? I thought they were done. Reunion tour. I thought they like, were done, done, and case. then they were yeah. done and done and done. I don't know. Like I thought they were done. Like there's several no years Mick ago, Mars, and now there's no Mick. There's no Mick Mars. That's a new guy. But do we have Neil? Do we have Vince Neil? Mm, yeah. That's do, but do we have Vince Neil? Mm-hmm. For two or three shows. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's just squealing over it. Yeah. yeah. Probably. I don't know, man. I don't. I've never been a Motley Crue fan. I don't see the appeal. I've never. It's. I, none? I, really? Well, Rob yeah. and I grew up. In an area, and I'm sure growing up in the area, you did, you heard Motley Crue stories, right? Growing oh, yeah. up. I heard some pretty wild stories of, um, for instance, like a backyard party that Motley Crue was playing at. And there was a guy I was talking to, and he was an ex, I think it was Covina, uh, police officer. And he said that he had went into a backyard party that Motley Crue was playing back in the day. And him and his partner walked back out after like warning, I guess they were doing and when they walked back to get in the car, his partner reached down because he felt his leg was cold and he reached up and there was blood. 
And I guess what had happened is somebody stabbed the cop in the ass cheek. What the fuck? And the knife blade broke off, I guess. And fucking the cop didn't even feel it. He walked back out to the squad car. And then, holy shit. Fucking buns of steel, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's this, this police officer was literally telling a story about Motley Crue back in the day. And I was like, wow. That's, That's crazy. crazy. It's Tommy Lee, right? Mm -hmm. Tommy Lee. Yeah. And Vince Neil. The Friday the Mick 13th Mars. inch, dude. Tommy Lee. Yeah. All those guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was it's kind of bad because like i went to like their farewell tour and was like cool i was a part like of that part three or four or what, which part did you go like i gotta go i guess how many times are we gonna say bye but i mean it was just like that's farewell all right cool they're done and now this is the reunion but now they're stuff. like we're doing it again you're like okay so after the reunion tour, they can do another farewell tour. And then they can do another reunion. reunion. If you, so long as every tour is a reunion or a farewell, you're good to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? 20th anniversary. Um, 25th anniversary. Blink 182 also is another, another band that's getting to... I mean, they're doing a whole album, right? Did, did you see the amazing fucking video going around of... They played a show at a Denny's? What's up, Denny's? And he, he, they did the whole, what the fuck is up, Denny's? And they like, it was fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Like, they they rolled into a Denny's and they were like, hey, man, do you mind if we play a show? And the manager was a huge fan. He was like, absolutely, do it right there. And it was like two o'clock in the morning at a random Denny's. And it, so many people showed up once the word got around that the cops had to, like, fucking hold people back from going into the Denny's. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. It's fucking pretty awesome. What do you guys think of that whole deal? It's probably with a Saturday night. That well, sounds like a typical Denny's on a Saturday night. Sounds like night. a, yeah. yeah. You know, band just fucking Fuck throwing you. down in Denny's. Fucking throw down. Now the cops show up, yeah. yeah. What, do, what do you think of the whole Blink uh, thing with, uh, you know, the whole breakup and the other albums they did with uh, Mark, you know, Skiba and all that? Like, how do you... For Tom being back, I, I'm i like, eh, whatever. I think with Mark being able to play again after beating cancer is fucking awesome. Yeah. And so for them, uh, for at least him, I can understand it. Uh, Travis has now got that Kardashian money, so it's kind of like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I think it's kind of a cool kind of chapter in, like, their book as a band. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I think that's a cool chapter that, like, broke up and then cancer and got back together. And There was an interview you know. I saw that they were doing recently. It was, uh, it was like, a clip on TikTok, and Mark was talking about how he was like, I, you know, I used to tell everybody, the management, fucking, you know, Travis, I'll, I'll never get on stage with Tom again. Like, right. that's not going to fucking happen. And then he got sick. And I, I think Tom called him one day out of the blue and he was like, how are you doing? And from then on, like every day, Tom called Yeah, him. he, he told like, a story that this. he was kind of pivotal in yeah. like supporting him and, you know. He was, yeah. And then uh, Mark was just like, my own fucking friends and family didn't call me as much as he did. Right. You know? and, and he was just like, and he always believed I was going to beat it. And I was like, how the fuck? I got stage four cancer. How the fuck am I going to beat it? And then he ended up beating it, which is fucking cool. And now he's running around yeah. doing something. And then he said shows. he, he cool. had to fucking learn how to sing again because all yeah, the chemo and shit destroyed his vocals his, yeah. yeah so that's a good it's a good uh it's a nice fucking quote-unquote fairy tale ending for them as a band i don't know how long they plan to do this right. if they're gonna just do like one last tour and then call it quits but it's fucking cool to see them back yeah i i wouldn't mind seeing them you know keep going i mean how do you we had talked about this earlier you had mentioned that you know, it's not the original lineup for Blink, right? Oh, yeah. And how do you feel about other bands doing reunion, like uh, like Pantera doing it with, you know, kind of half of the band? Is it, is it, you know? I think when it's in a situation where band members have passed away, you do what you can. Well, and I think Blink's a little bit of a different <clears throat> story, too, because well, no, Blink Pantera got... Well, Pantera is a different story. Okay. Uh, oh, I mean, they're kind of on the same lines. Like, I would never do a reunion with so and so. Never do a reunion with so and so. Unfortunately, in Pantera's case, it 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 ended shortly. You know, like, right. nope, that's right. not an option, and yeah. that's never going to happen. And then once they passed, hey, reunion. Do you really want to go see it at that point? Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know, man. That's tough. That's that's a it's one of those things where like I think I think we've talked about it before where are the other members just not supposed to fucking do what they love anymore? You know well, what I mean? I think like, another, in another I mean, thing, granted, they can start other projects and stuff. Another but. thing too with Blink is like Enema of the State was kind of one of their big, huge albums and Travis Barker was the drummer on that album, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so I think it's different in that. Like Zach Wilde was never a member of Pantera ever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Until this whole reunion thing, right? So... I think it's a little bit of a different story we're talking about, but you know, I'm I'm glad to see a band like Blink get back together and do it. I'm I think it's cool that fucking Pantera music's being played out there and it's people are fucking rocking out to it. That's cool. My sister went to their show that they had the the arena show that was over here. Pantera. The, the, no, Blink One Eighty Two. Okay. Uh, fucking astronomical prices that they paid for those fucking Too tickets much. dude <laughs> i was like fuck i, bet. You know, I thought i paid a lot for matt rife they paid even more for blink dude that was wow. fucking nuts yeah oh, i'm sure yeah <laughs> yeah so what are we doing here uh, i think we got some uh there's a fucking some hot in, takes we got, some, we got some hot takes hot takes hot takes, uh, hot takes. bro this, yeah this is a nerve all right, so we're going. <laughs> this is a fucking nerve for me. I'm sure it is. There we go. Crocs, guys. Hot takes. Crocs are essentials, and everyone should get a pair. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck I'm, no. I'm on that boat. I don't see the appeal of Crocs. I think they're fucking <coughs> ugly as shit. I don't care how comfortable a shoe is. <laughs> like, I can't see myself wearing those. Yeah. What about you, Daddy? No, it's a no for me. It's a no for you? It's a no for, it's a no for all of us. Yeah. No, thank you. I don't think we're doing a deal with Crocs. Uh, dude, my kids love Crocs, dude. Do they? Yeah. I, get, I, I, I can see them. I got them little knockoff ones. Crokes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Crokes. You got the fucking Crokes, dude. You know I, mean? I, I can see it being something that would be for kids. You know, it'd be nice to have. Like, they like to put the little on. jewelry stuff on them and they put like the little pins. They bedazzle it. Yeah, they bedazzle their feet. And but shit. that totally feeds into the whole idiocracy thing. Like... The production was like, hey, you need to find like shoes that would look like they would wear in the future. So she goes like, what's like the dumbest prototype that's going around right now? And they were like, oh, hey, can we use your shoes for the movie? And they're like, yeah, here you go. And they worked those out look a stupid. Deal. Can we use those? And essentially that's what it is. And now everyone is walking around with fucking Crocs. Sorry. No. Can't do it, man. What makes you more upset? Crocs or socks and sandals? How about Crocs and, and Crocs socks? And sandals, dude. Crocs and socks? Like, Crocs and sandals? <laughs> Crocs and sandals. That'd be fun. Crandles, bro. <laughs> have you seen the cowboy Crocs? <laughs> I did see the oh, dude. No. They have cowboy Crocs, bro. What the They're fuck? They're like cowboy boots, but They're the Crocs? foot's, the foot's a, croc. a Croc. Like and it's, it's got legit, like the foot. It looks like snake skin and shit on the side, and then the foot is a Croc. Yeah. Dude, they started making Crocs for like fucking... like. Like a uh, slip resistant, so you can wear them at work mm-hmm. shoes. Yeah, I've seen uh, like, like restaurant, you know, some non-slip restaurant shoes, yeah. like or chef shoes. Yeah, yeah, they have chef ones. I'm pretty sure that's kind of their probably main line of business. Yeah, I'm no. sorry, bro. No? Grease is still hot. I don't give a shit if you give me a crock or not. That's what I'm, I'm saying, dude. Protect you still- your feet, bro. Shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Crocs. <laughs> fuck Crocs, dude. <laughs> We're all just like, yeah. Yeah, fuck them shoes. They're not shoes. It's not a sandal. Like, you want fucking accessories on your feet. Uh, you know. What do you got? Like toe rings and shit? <laughs> no, but like they're, they're putting like little lights on their fucking Crocs. Oh, they're putting little gems and jewels and shit. Got toe rings, Rob. <laughs> Poking out the fucking crock Six hole. Six foot eight with toe rings. <laughs> dude, if you, Rob's dude, only feet, dude. If you Check pull it. off a shoe, the toe, toe ring, ring bro. I'm gonna die right here. <laughs> that would have been great for the Johnny Chico. The <laughs> I can see Johnny Chico rocking hey, a toe ring, dude. <laughs> toe rings for sure. He may have had a few. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wears some other rings, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. They don't call him Johnny Chico for oh, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Chico. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck, dude. My face, dude. It hurts. Oh, man. It's painful. It's killing me. Somebody died at Panera, bro. 
Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. Pick, it I'll was me. Dude, I'll I die pick. every time I go to Panera Just Bread. Because it's my like, wife. What the fuck am I doing here? Like, here's 20 bucks for half a sandwich and some soup. Oh, it's just the cup. Cool well, they thing. They even have a monthly drink club that you can be a part of. Oh, fuck wife. yeah. There's no oh, alcohol God. in any of it. Can you get the fucking lethal lemonade here? Yeah, yeah what, so what happens? That's actually what my wife gets. So she I'm gets wondering the, if this has is to this, deal with Wait, hold on. Issues. Can I make a notion? I hear that it's called charged lemonade. Can we turn this to fucking lethal lemonade? Lethal lemonade, bro. Panera lethal lemonade. Yeah, yeah that's double totally a good selling point <laughs> for it. Give me some of that what double ale. But yeah, they knowingly... They tell you because my wife knows that it has that much caffeine in it because she won't let our kids drink any of it. Well, Josh, tell us how much caffeine does it actually have? According to what they say, it has as much, if not more, than a Red Bull and a, what was the other one? 390 milligrams. Nearly. So it says here 390 milligrams, nearly the 400 milligram gram. daily maximum of caffeine the Food and Drug Administration say healthy adults can safely consume. And we're, and there is over here serving up 390 like it's like, fuck, no big deal. Yeah. Go ahead and get Real, your charge lemonade, <laughs> lady, and drop dead, why don't you? So let's let's tell the story of what happened though, Josh, because we, we, we kind of skipped that part. So what exactly happened at Panera? Like... Well, you what went over it right off the bat. The <laughs> lady died. Somebody died. Yeah, but like, what happened? Like, she fucking. They fucking told her the price of what her meal was. And she said, Bro, what I the? think Panera's so overhyped, dude. I can't. She's like, $13 for some tomato soup. My wife's fuck. always like, oh, we, we want to go to Panera? I'm like, fuck. No, I don't want to go to Panera, dude. What, we, what am I going to get? I don't even know what to order there, bro. Fuck. Soup's good. Yeah. Lethal, I would lethal tell you what lemonade. you're going to get at Panera get Bread. The lemonade. But, get the lethal <laughs> lemonade, <laughs> bro. Away from the lemonade. You'll have I'll a fucking heart this. attack. Dude. I would tell you this. Uh, what you're going to get at Panera Bread is one of the words I can't say on TikTok. Okay. So, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just like, holy hell. <laughs> Open up your wallet. Give me half. Why? Because we're Panera Bread. Are, uh, <laughs> are any of you guys, guys big coffee drinkers? Uh, uh, I've just recently started drinking. I know more you've coffee. mentioned you do coffee a lot at work. Oh yeah, yeah. so it keeps them going, dude. Okay. How, what do you yeah. do? How much? How much? Explains a lot. Where are you at? How many cups in a night when you're working? Probably six throughout the day. But do they look like shot glasses in your hand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like fucking uh, espresso. Like three of them look like that. Yeah. Yeah. But the other ones are the. The last days of war mug that you can buy on our website. Check out the link in the bio. Mm. Plug, 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 plug. Dude, good plug. Good plug. Yeah, dude, that's what's up, dude. Holy shit. Are Look you a black go. coffee? Yeah. yeah. What do you do? How do you do your coffee? Straight up, no cream, no sugar. Really? Yeah, I don't can't ruin do it. Why are you are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> why are you so is this why you're so angry? No, no, what? but I, I do I do my coffee black too. When I do, if I do coffee, it's black. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> um so, I like a little bit of coffee so with my creamer. Straight up. A little bit of coffee with my creamer, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. So you're like a, you you would do like the uh, Michael Starbucks, Jackson like so Frappuccino? No, I can't do those. That's way too much sugar. Like a latte? Um, what do you got? Honestly, we have a creamer. Well, my wife makes it at home. She mm -hmm. uses like, a, it's like a whipping cream and a can of condensed milk. And you, you get like the little flavored shots, whether it's like vanilla or whatever the fuck you want to do. It's fucking good creamer to put in your coffee like that. We yeah. do it like that because it's lower in the sugar for me when, yeah, so. Yeah. But it's, uh, I still, I'm trying to get away from fucking drinking monsters. I know you guys always see one in my hand when I fucking come over, but like, um, I'll have like a monster. But if I, I just recently started drinking coffee, I'm still getting used to liking it. It's not my favorite thing, but yeah. I'm trying to steer away from the monster. So. It's like the drink of life. Yeah. yeah. What do you what do you do here? What do you where are you at in the coffee? Nope. I you don't know? do coffee at all. I you have this I have this hate of coffee because my oldest daughter, who's twenty three, her mom worked at Starbucks like when they first blew up. And <clears throat> if you don't know I blow up every time I go to Starbucks. <laughs> oh wow. It doesn't matter what you do. You wash the clothes. They still fucking stink like coffee grounds. So uh, to me, it's just the smell of fresh brewed or ground coffee i can't stand it it's like how people with the cigarette smoke where you're like get the fuck away from me i can't yeah. get away from that well that's part of that's because i used to smoke so now it's like it's part of the reason why 
I wasn't really a big coffee drinker either was because of the smell. Because my yeah. dad didn't matter still to this day, like just coffee 24 seven. He drinks so much of it. He can have a cup of coffee and go fucking straight to bed. When I was like, a kid, you know I mean? when like, I was a kid, my dad and I would be like changing the clutch in a fucking, you know, manual transmission in a car. And he's out there in 100 degrees drinking, drinking coffee. coffee. Fuck straight up black coffee all damn day. Guy didn't drink water. It's coffee all day. Yeah. Wake up, go to bed. He'll go drink a cup of coffee before he goes to bed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's still, I don't know. Me, I do, I do black coffee. Uh, I'm kind of a maniac. If I go to Starbucks, the only thing that I'm kind of interested on their menu is a cafe Americana, just ice. So it's like just shots of espresso with water. Yeah. I, uh, one time I was on tour with an artist and we were at Starbucks and we, everybody was tired. Everybody was just tired as hell. And he asked me what I was getting. And so he ordered the same thing as me. And he was like, dude, you're fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, cafe! Just yeah, yeah. yeah so man. me, me personally, I only drink coffee when uh, I'm like tired as hell and I need it. Yeah. You know. Other than that, I I kind of just stay away from it because I'm a uh, I'm always going a million miles miles a minute. So you you get me going on coffee, and you just fucking go oh, go God, go, dude! Yeah. I'll just I'll, my mind yeah. will explode. Yeah, even like. To this day, I don't really feel the effects of coffee when I drink it. It's like, okay, I still go get a monster, you know, fucking like, yeah. I don't know. I think it's just because I drink, drink so many energy drinks my whole life. I just, that's what I like. There was so. a time when I was going to school in early morning, I would, I would try the coffee thing. And the second I got into the classroom, well, the cl it was a recording studio. So as soon as we walked up to sat down at the console and I drank coffee, I felt my stomach like it's flip upside down, dude. Literally, I was like, "What the fuck is that?" That's, that's your stomach. Oh no! That's what happened. That coffee hits you in the morning like that. You're sitting. You're in this quiet room, and your stomach. You you're, you feel your stomach go. It's a lax oh, It's a laxative, bro. It's oh, fucking you're just juice, like, bro. Oh no! Like, dang it! Yeah, yeah. coffee. One thing coffee will get you going is shit. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, oh. Spooky dookie. <laughs> Little fucking spooky dookie. Oh, shit, dude. Peek -a yeah, so I, I try not to fuck with coffee too much, you know? Like yeah. I said, my father was insane on it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Fuck coffee. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> One thing that trips me out is, uh, you have you ever heard of the uh, those coffee beans that are really expensive? Because they're laced with made THC. Of, made out of duty? They, what? They, yeah. No, There's okay, so shit. so coffee, this, there's certain areas and elevations, right? So there's coffee, the most one of the most expensive coffees in the world. These monkeys go into the trees, grab the coffee, they eat it, they shit them out, and they get the coffee from the shit. And that's because these monkeys pick the fucking best ones. Check, please. Right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, it's so, always my own drink coffee. I walked into the wrong coffee shop. Thank yeah, you. It's no, a, I'm it's out. A, it's a thing. Yeah, it's a yeah, but you can buy coffee. your own beans and grab so them it's up an in the it's an Indonesian thing, right? And uh, it says that the coffee beans are extracted by a whole animal called a savat cat, C I V E T. Savet. I thought civet it was. Cat. I thought civet it was cat. some kind of monkey, but I don't know. I've also heard that one too, though. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you look up fucking coffee made from poop, and there's quite a few articles here. <laughs> No shit. The, they, they like literally the best yeah, coffee that's my comes flavor. from I want no beans shit that are picked by monkeys that eat it and shit it. I don't yeah. want that coffee. I want the clean beans. You wash the shit 20 fucking times. Now we grind it up and fucking add water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think the deal is, is that when they roast it, I think that it's just anything. And there's like a covering on coffee beans, right? Isn't there some kind of covering? Like a, a wax or something? I don't know. Kind of, yeah. No, you can I chew the motherfuckers up. You'll chew coffee beans? Yeah. But they're already roasted, right? Get the right? fuck out of here. Yeah. They're already, they're roasted coffee beans. Yeah. Yeah, so I think when before they're roasted, they're this little kind of weird looking green little thing. Yeah. You would just do a line Somebody of coffee grounds? quote me on that, but. Wait, so then. <laughs> just do a line of coffee grounds, bro? <laughs> fucking. How much are we talking? These monkeys are eating. Johnny Chico's back. Johnny Chico's back. <laughs> Let's I'm going to have to go talk to a guy about a guy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys. We hit the halfway point. We will be right back. <laughs> will we, though? But will we? <laughs> but will we? We'll will find we? out.
Hey, Rob, that's a nice shirt you're wearing there. What you got? What you rocking? Oh, I'm just rocking the new Last Days of War shirt that I bought on the website. Ooh, is that that new Symphony of Chaos shirt? Oh, it's that brand new shirt that they just dropped with the song. It's really good and it matches the artwork for the CD and I like it. That people still listen to CDs. Back to the show. As soon as we start, I'll fucking table sneeze over. my ass off. I'll shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Oh, now we are. <laughs> we're fucking back. Oh, fuck your daddy talking about shit in his pants. Cheers to that. There we go. <laughs> Shut Hey, that's, is that getting me back for throwing you under the bus for the Tootsie Roll thing? <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. So what are we drinking today, guys? I got some wine. Jesus. Ooh. Got a little bit of that, a little wine. Is that strong? Stronger <laughs> than the last shot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and we're back. That woke you up. That woke me up. Fuck, dude. I don't think Holy you liked shit. it either. No, I don't mind it. It was really good, actually. Mm-hmm. That was good. Sorry. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad. Like, it was like, here, have some of this. Well, what am I to drink? <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, what is it to drink? We're sorry. We're sorry, Danny. Sorry, Danny. We're sorry we drank all your alcohol. I have, I have no, I have plenty. I have, I had that. I got this one, I got that one. You just defeated the purpose of your line, bro. It's okay. <laughs> you can't see this. It's not here. Don't worry. You see nothing. You see nothing. Holy Drinks. shit. You guys, Drinks. Deadpool 3 is back in filming, in production. Well, did you read it? It's going it, to be back in production. It starts. They're going to start. They're planning to start back. <laughs> Filming in January. <laughs> so picking up. Did you? So really? you guys, <laughs> they're starting filming. Well, well no, hang on. Uh, well, did you, pop the brakes. Did you guys? Have you guys been keeping up with the whole SAG thing? The whole fucking strike. Is that over? I haven't heard much about it. Didn't so. you say a couple like last week or two? You said that they the uh, the writer strike was over, but the actors still haven't come to a deal. I don't know. I I, I it's kind of crazy because there's a lot of. No, I think it was the, wasn't it the writers still didn't get the deal? Uh, I think it might have been vice versa. Yeah, I think you're, you're right. Okay. Well, one of them, one of them still hasn't struck the deal. So it's hoping like, hey, come on, let's all work together. It's not just that. It's this. Like, right. do this and it works for us. But hopefully the plan right now is to start production again in January. Now just the premise that's been leaked and the videos that they've shown the hype to come to it and now for everything to be put on pause it's like oh kind of killed that momentum yeah i think you know um, so it's good to hear that they're getting back into it because the hype that i've heard uh this should be one of the top grossing marvel the crossover fucking, movies so the on here movie. on here it says that it's uh about 50% complete? Yeah, they had started filming it already, and then the strike happened, so they stopped. And so they're going to have to push back the premiere, is what's going yeah, on, yeah, because of pretty the strike. Much. And- well, no, it's only 50% done. So they got to still, they're still working out deals, too, but they got to put everything on hold because of the strike. So it's... Yeah. Have you heard what suppo- the supposed storyline is for this one? hmm Yeah. That's why I'm so pumped about it. Yeah. Go ahead, talk about it. Yeah, I'd love to hear because I haven't. I know. I know some details about it. These are it, all so rumors, by the way, folks. So we're not spoiling anything. Who knows? This is all rumors. <laughs> yeah, is that uh, it's supposedly Deadpool kills the Fox Marvel universe? Yes. So Fox uh, bought some of the rights to some of the characters. The X Men specifically. Yeah. Uh, mm, okay. X Men. Uh, yeah. Fantastic Four. Uh, there's a couple others, I believe. It's the reason why the Marvel movies weren't allowed to use the word mutant. Because Fox had the rights to that. Right. So going that route, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but suppose it's like he's going to be using the time travel shit from Cable to be going to go back into these different universes and fucking kill off everybody from the Fox universe. And if that's true, that's awesome. It's a great way to do it because like you were saying about what the Fox owning them, they weren't allowed to cast those characters 
uh, Disney wasn't allowed to cast characters for those roles yet until those contracts those ended. Con, yeah. So, and then just seeing <clears throat> Hugh Jackman coming back, you know, Wolverine, it's fucking awesome, man. I can't wait for it. So how do you think that this is going to kind of roll out with this being Marvel with Disney? This is the this is the first one that Disney's doing. Right? Yeah, this they is didn't the do first part one. two. They, they didn't, didn't do part do two. Part yeah. two. It's fir- yeah, but it's it's like the first. I want to say like rated R. R- or, yeah, yeah, like it's this is. I feel like this is a different area for Disney in the Marvel universe. Yeah, but they is, haven't. So are, are we? Or is it going to be toned down? No, no. Good. From what I Thank hear, God. no, dude. So yeah, he's good. killing the Fox universe. So like you have the X Men movies that. They were already butchered from the beginning. You were just like, kill them off. Oh, he yeah. goes back in and you see him fuck him up. Uh, Fantastic Four, he jumps back into the universe and fucks them up. Hey, an unscripted Gambit movie with Channing Tatum. Hey, fuck it. Let's do this. Kill yeah, because they're, they're, he's you. rumored to be in it too, right? It's yeah. going to be like a split cameo, I guarantee, <clears> where <throat> they just kill him off before he even starts. Yeah. Like little jabs at how Fox blew it the whole time, but Disney's taking jabs at themselves. Yeah, and making I'm, millions. I'm really glad that they're smart enough to understand what they have there to let it go. Like just fucking do your thing, you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool is one of the greatest Marvel cat like comic book character castings that there is to, for me. Um, are you guys fans of the other Deadpool movies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> I fucking, I think I like the second one more than the first one, but yeah, I'm a, I'm more Deadpool 2 over the first Deadpool. I like the first one. I like the deleted scene from 2. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Matt Damon. Yeah. Oh, man. Tell him about it. Oh, about the deleted scene? Yes. Oh, uh, it's just... Get, get descriptive. It's two farmers, I guess you could say, hillbillies, sitting in the back of a truck and talking about... Trump? No. <laughs> no, no. It's even worse. He, it's, one dude's in, like, he's, like, overweight and his shirt barely fits and he's got the handlebar mustache and he goes, hear me out. You, you need to have... A wet wipe. That's the only way to wipe nowadays. What are you talking about? Yeah, you just can't have TP. Like, think about this. Dry toilet paper. If you were to get shit on your face and in your beard, would you rub it with dry toilet paper? Man, why are we talking about this right now? No, hear me out. Hear me out. You're going to need a wet wipe to get that deep in there and clean it out. So that's what you're going to need to have to wipe with. And it's not just one tissue or two. Like, you got to take your turn and get in there clean and deep. And then, like, at this point, Cable comes in and, like, takes some shit. But <laughs> then you realize, like, oh, that's Matt Damon. And Alan Tudyk. And you're just like, that's fucking hilarious. That's great. Yeah. I like part two mostly because the juggernaut, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome in it, dude. Yeah, yeah I, I enjoy both of them, but I yeah. feel like I don't know when I when I I there's a few scenes in the first movie. Mm-hmm. I think in that co- kind of like uh, that whole sequence when he's going around, he's just fucking killing people. Is it the first or the second one where he loses his legs and he's got the little baby legs on the couch? <laughs> is that the, isn't that the <laughs> second? <laughs> Oh, I don't remember that which fucking one scene is so fucking funny, dude. Is it, yeah. Isn't there one where his fucking hand? His hands his yeah, hand, oh, the hand, hand was the first baby. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, fa- the hand was the first that one. That whole scene, man, is great. And his little fucking baby legs growing. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sitting there with his little baby legs. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for uh, number three. Yeah, Deadpool three is gonna be fucking rad. Yeah, I think uh, I think it should be like a we should do a party and watch that. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm in, dude. Hell yeah. Whenever it finishes. Wait, Whenever it finishes. Well, I mean, we're <clears> 2024, <throat> bro. Hopefully. Now, is that where we're at? 24 is when it's going to be done? That's what it's, it's saying. That, well, it's saying that they're going well, res- to hopefully projected. resume projecting to resume shooting January 2024. And to be finished by March. March 24. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Do you think that he will be woven into the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Some. Some? You Some. think like he'll appear like in an adventure movie or something? We'll see. Yeah. I, I, I think it would be cool. I don't know how they would do that with Deadpool if, they're, they, they, if they don't want the Avengers movies to go rated R. <laughs> you know what I mean? They did censor him. It, it'd be really funny if he was Car like bleeped out. Or, like, what the uh, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, what's the fuck's going on or here? explosions. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> just fucking fart. <laughs> That's all it is, dude. <laughs> That's how it is. That's how it is. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, hey, do we do we have any idea of uh, what the villain is in Deadpool 3 or anything like that? Do we know? Um, I, that's a good question. I don't know if it's just going to be him killing off the Marvel, the Fox, so, the Fox cast. So you're saying it's going to be a whole bunch of yeah. And I, I don't. Well, I think it's going to be well because Hugh Jackman, I think, is going to play a big part in it too. So you think, think they'll end up fighting each other? The whole Deadpool and Wolverine? in every universe. He's going to be fighting a Wolverine in different universes. That'd be fucking dope. No, I think it's probably going to be the same Wolverine, like following him or or vice versa. Mm. That'd be cool. Trying to, you know, and then they keep jumping somehow. Yeah, that's oh, the only yeah, way I can see it. Mm-hmm. Don't. Yeah, I can't wait. Up. Don't fuck that. Hell yeah, yeah don't 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 fuck it up, please. Don't fuck we doing another hot take? Or are we going to this uh, Russo one? I think we could go into the Russo one really quick because it kind of fits in with what we were just talking about: superhero movies. Right? Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Rob, what do you what do you think about this? What are we talking about here, Rob? Well, <clears throat> didn't we kind of talk about this and uh No, not really. Okay. Like he kind of made a joke about it, but we didn't talk about it. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> um yeah. Okay, so a while back Martin Scorsese said uh that he didn't consider the comic book movies to be cinematic masterpieces that everyone claims them to be like he didn't understand the marvel movies right? like why should we give them any accolades like no it's dumb that's for kids and it's just like no there's a whole team and whole crew that put it together and there's a whole fan base that wants it at some point so you got to give credit to anyone that's going out there and actually doing it like these people who make these youtube videos of here watch this movie try to give us a kickstarter account and we'll actually make the movie like that shit's bitching like keep doing that because i'm pushing that artistic envelope for and then i guess that's why we have a strike is because well you're not fucking paying us you're just stealing our fucking ideas and voila you know yeah so so martin scorsese releases a film this last weekend called killers of the flower moon and it doesn't do as great as everyone thinks it does. It's like a three and a half hour movie, right? That's, that's yeah. what I heard. It's but long. it's a Scorsese film. <clears throat> and there's a deep message behind it. I've yet to see it. My wife does want to see it, so we're going to go see it soon. But he he comes at it more of like an artistic view. Like this is how a movie should be made as opposed to, hey, we're just going to crank out these storylines for kids and you're just like, nope, it doesn't count. So they took an offense to it. And so at one point, Scorsese goes, oh, here's a video of my dog. His name is Oscar. And he goes, I have an Oscar. And then so Joe Russo posts a video on his social media goes, oh, hey, look, here's my dog. I call him box office. <laughs> and it's the just, video. That's so good. So it's kind of a jab back because they have one of the highest grossing movies of all time until Avatar 2 came out. But fucking everyone went and saw Avengers Endgame. And it didn't matter if you were a comic book fan or not. You grew up knowing these characters. Yeah. So. Um, never, I never saw the appeal of Avatar. Did you get into those movies? I I saw the first one and there was there was parts about it that I liked but there was some parts that I wasn't all that thrilled about. Yeah. And then the second one <coughs> came out and I haven't 
I just really haven't had much interest in doing it. Yeah, I don't. This whole fucking trend of like releasing sequels thirty years later, it's like yeah. who the fuck cares? Dude? Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, there was a big, big gap there. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's kind so, of then, are you into the Avatar movies? Have you seen them? I've seen them. Both of them. Mm-hmm. How is well, how the is second the second one hold up? I mean, is it? Are you gonna say like, dude, you missed it? Like, watch it, or is it like it's okay? Um. I recommend you be on a substance. <laughs> well, well, no. wait, hold on, let me. What kind of and, substance are we talking here? Uh, sure. Any of the ones we're currently on? Um, <laughs> I mean, played, like, like, do I get a couple drinks? Or are we talking? You ever played Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but you just—it's—it's it's an enjoyable movie that is like, oh, and then you kind of flow with it, you know. And it's supposed to be taken more deep, and you're like, oh, okay, I get it. I feel it. But watching it, you're just like, I gotta fuck a pee. Like, <laughs> when's a good spot to pee? Like, at any point, probably. <laughs> and then you're just kind of like, yeah, they kind of drag out it, the whole storyline, but I feel like I'm gonna miss something. Like, any minute now, some important detail is gonna happen. I'm gonna miss it while I pee. Did that ever come? The important part of the movie? No, I just had to just pee. Wait. Just wait. That was. I wasn't that trying was to come. I was just trying to piss. Part. So the highlight of the movie was is that you needed to find a space to pee in. Yeah, and I felt like the story. <laughs> so I'm, I'm that was good. the table. So, so, so we're, we're good. So we're good on Avatar. Is we're good. We know. We know. Have you seen Avatar, anymore. Josh? I've seen the first one. I haven't seen the second yeah. one. How did you feel about the first one? Was it just fucking tall Smurfs? Is that what it was? Was it mid or what? It was too it was long. Mid. <laughs> I don't know why that killed me, but it did. It wasn't mid. None of them were airbenders. Just kidding. What? Avatar, the, the airbender. Last airbender. Yeah. airbender, last airbender. Um, yeah. It was all right. I didn't understand why it was so long. And I wasn't really impressed. I fell asleep. Like, I've watched it more than once. Mm. It was one of those movies that my kids wanted to watch it, so we had to watch it. Just show them Ferngully. Ferngully's amazing. I love that I think movie. they've seen that. Um, the same thing with Robin Williams as yeah. Batty. So you know what I'm Batty. About. Fucking dope. Or, uh, That's a good fucking movie. Pocahontas. Pocahontas is good. Same fucking story. Just, <laughs> it's the same fucking story. It's all the same fucking story. Like they're just blue. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. No, I've never seen the Avatar movies. Um, You're not missing nothing. Yeah. Did Scorsese do? The Departed? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, I fucking love that movie, dude. Yeah, it was part of But I don't rad. think it got enough accolades for what it was. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he got, they got snubbed. Like, it did win Best Film, but Leo didn't win for that. Yeah, but we've we already talked about these award shows, though, Bill. Fuck them, you know? <laughs> Does it, yeah, you know what I mean? Does not winning an award take away from the movie at all? No. What was, you know? what was the, uh, did you like The Irishman? Refresh no, my memory. Who's in that one? Robert De Niro. Yes, yes. Al Pacino, Pesci. Joe Pesci. Yes. yes, yes, yes. That's a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, I like but, that. Uh, That's a good one. Yeah, that one was good. I liked it. Yeah. It was, um, it was one of those movies where there was some parts where it was a little, like, depressing, and it kind of fucking hit you. You know mm, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, one of those movies, it's one of those movies, like, like Star Wars, like, you're ready to go fucking fly in space. You know what I'm saying? That movie, that points, was just like, fuck, like, you felt like. Damn, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, that movie, that movie's kind of like Empire. Yeah. It's a little bit more, yeah. Yeah. So, Rob. Sir. Titties. Titties. Let's fucking go, dude. Hear me out. out. (laughs) Okay, so my wife and I stumbled upon a show on Netflix called Botched, and it's these two doctors, and they um, find people with botched, surgeries that have deformities or still complications from a botched surgery is it mostly titties there's a lot of titties okay there's is there anything but titties like yes. what else is there besides titties? what else is getting oh, botched there's Nose, noses uh, a lot of noses peepees um Pee-pees? ears <laughs> um glizzies <laughs> hair lips um a okay. lot of uh lipo gone bad to where it looks like their vagina is pulled all the way up to their belly button. Okay. Um. So it's just like, 
Yeah, right? So they go blurring out everything. But I hope so. One of these episodes, there's this lady and she goes, I'm at this size and I'm trying to go bigger so I can at least die in the top three of the biggest boobs ever. And then it got me wondering, (laughs) what are the biggest boobs? This is a total great look at the mind of Rob. Like the 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 signal train train of thought. What what are the biggest natural recorded boobs? Natural natural titties. Natural titties. Like naturally grown titties. Little natty ices. You know it would be good to know (laughs) what the the answer was to that. I mean only if we knew what the answer was. But if only there was a device that we could look shit up on. I'm pretty sure Rob already knows the answer. You can't just spit it out. Why is it only on images? (laughs) Because I had to screenshot it. It says, U.S. woman with largest natural breast in world. Annie Hawkins Turner, originally from Atlanta, Georgia, boasts the world's largest natural breast. Her gigantic size is 102 triple Z, Assets weigh nearly 85 pounds, each heavier than the average four-year-old child. That's crazy. Holy how, fuck. How yes, are you, please. Are you walking around? You said yes, please? Oh, fuck yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't you want to see those? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to see a pair of tickets? Exactly. Yeah, I want to uh, see Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Holy <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But then, then I started trying to Google who's got the. This goes horribly wrong. Wait, this right. goes horribly wrong. Let's tread lightly here, bro. Yeah, I know. So then I'd go, like okay, dude. let's go. Unnatural, like okay. implants. Okay. What are the largest implants? Now, I don't know if I agree with this because the woman on the show had way larger chest, but I'm assuming it's the size of the implant as opposed That's to talking to about the, the actual the full t- actual size of who's got the biggest fake tits you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. this is so awkward so anyways it says this chick oh damn those are titties and, but that size doesn't even come close to the last triple chick. triple o cups what? triple o cup Wait, but you said a million times fucking triple Z or some shit that's earlier. That's what I'm saying. Like, is what's so that's I'm, I'm a triple O cup? This didn't even make sense. I'm like, I, I think this has to be old or fake news, but I couldn't <laughs> find I couldn't find what the biggest fucking fake Rob's tit out here size was. Fake, fake titty news, dang. <laughs> it's fuck, is this fake news? You gotta dude. drain the swamp. You gotta drain the swamp. Fake titties. Uh, 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 fuck fake out titty of here. What'd you say? Drain the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Get that swamp tit <laughs> walking around the mall swamp all day or something of misinformation like on titty dudes. Okay, swamp. we need to be informed about titty this. Yeah. So, yeah, dude. Oh, my. Yeah, like if you, if anyone else can find like what the largest unnatural breasts are, send them to Mark and he will show us all. <laughs> Please send. Them. I mean, you can email to the website, I guess. Uh, you can send Mark t- titty pics. Spooky dookies. Spooky dookies. No. Spooky dookies. No. Spooky dookies. No. Spooky dookies. And you know he likes dick pics. So go for it. <laughs> <laughs> what, is our, what is our email? Fucking <laughs> say some more at info.com. You can send it to the email. That goes straight to your wife, dude. Not, not me. <laughs> You can send it to eggplants <laughs> for Mark at lastdaysaward.com. He's like, scratch that. Oh, she's going to kill me now. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Um, yeah, dude, titties are dope. I fucking love them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> They're fucking good, dude. I'm just curious. like, because yeah, You trying to get smashed by those big-ass titties, dude? Why wouldn't you want to? I mean, that's the way to go. Get smothered by some titties. But I'm just saying, like, holy shit, dude. Show me the float. You know what I'm saying? Put it in action. I want to see. I don't like. I know you got to bend it to go underneath a bridge or whatever, but it's got to be collapsible. You know what I'm talking about when you build a float? Show me the float. Show me the float. Like, build it up. Show me, like, oh, that's what you're working on. Cool. I like it. Beautiful. Don't discriminate. I don't discriminate. I like all titties, dude. Titties are titties. Car's a car. Car's a car. 
You like you like titties, Jenny? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please don't cancel this, guys. Mm-hmm. Do you like cars? Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! I got a cramp from laughing. My, my muscles in my face hurt. <laughs> oh, those hurting face muscles. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. Um, you ready for this hot take? There we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Here it goes. This is a personal one for us. Yeah, dude. Uh, we have a group chat, and I believe all of us have an iPhone except for one person. No. And when one person. I have an Android still. But well, I don't know why mine bro. doesn't do that, but his does. Anytime Mark likes something, it starts a new chat. Is that for real? Yeah. So I'm anytime everything, you. Bro. Anytime <laughs> you like leave an emoji, it's a new chat. Mark liked this, he loved it. Yeah, it like doesn't it. add on. Just uh-huh. tag it on to that one. It makes a whole... Oh, dude, you guys' iPhones are lame, dude. If you guys... But LOL, that's I can also mind. mute the it's conversation. It's only huh. lame to <laughs> Samsung <laughs> phones. It's not lame to other iPhones, though. Yeah, but, but see, my Sam's... Sam's phone? Samsung's phone. My Sam's phone. Samsung phone. You don't even Sam's have a phone. Samsung. You have a Samson phone? <laughs> Samson phone. Samsonite. I want to talk to like Samson. A, like a, Take me to the boom. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> I'm so glad you knew that. That, must, uh, that must have been the shit. Yeah, oh, fuck, dude. That must have been shitty. Doctor said I need a bacchiotomy. <laughs> Fucking. He had sex with my mama. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. Abracazabra. 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 Why do you keep saying Abracazabra, Abra-cadabra man? <laughs> now that's titty. Jerry Garcia in a pouch. <laughs> Yeah, they got Jerry Garcia. I forgot what the fuck were we talking about right now. Jim Brewer, dude. We're Jim Brewer. Just, uh, that guy went off the fucking deep yeah, end, he, dude. He, he, took, he took a turn. Hey, hear me out. Hear me out. Not the right one. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't. Uh, we talked about a concert reunion, and I, I won't pick it up. No, uh, but Josh was mentioning something on the way here that it was kind of uh, right. Wingy, MAGA related. Like it? it went kind of. Was it fucking headlined by Trap? N- okay. No. <laughs> but wasn't this wasn't this the Aaron, Aaron Lewis thing with the wolves and the. Yeah, but I think that there's kind of like, isn't there something with like Three Doors Down and, and some of the other bands that are on that? Maybe, dude. Um, I mean. I'm sure there's a market for it somewhere, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's fucking everybody's got their fucking fan base. <clears throat> Dude, I've seen people fucking on the corner selling Trump shirts. Yeah, there must be a fucking market for it, right? Well, yeah. Three Doors Down is a Southern style band, like racetrack music. So you're gonna have your Trumpers attached with that, yeah. Like, usually. Mm. So this reunion summer of '99 could potentially turn into be a oh, Trump shit. rally type shit. Oh shit! A pass. Bro, I want to see Creed. <laughs> That's the it. That's the it about it. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, man. Um, I want to see Mashuga. You want to see Mashuga? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. She's upstairs. Were we done talking about titties? Mashuga? Wait, were we talking about titties? Were we still talking about titties? Well, we, we, we can. Uh, comfort or speed? Titties. Um, titties. Comfort. Okay. Whatever you want, dude. Throw them at me. You know what I mean? I'm not going to scream. If I had to pick one, though, comfort. Speed. Josh? Both. Both. There you go. Comfort and speed. Hmm. Is it sports bra? No, just fun to play with. And the comfortable (laughs) laid down. Fun to play Mm -hmm. with. Well, you got it. You got to play with them. Smack one and the other one moves. Yeah. There's our poll for this week, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Titties. <laughs> Sorry, comfort babe. or speed? Comfort or speed? Are they built for comfort? One. Are we building it for speed? Didn't we have Are there one dudes one? out there getting, like, Kill. fucking testicular fucking implants like women do with their breasts? Yeah, trying to get the wrinkles out of their sack. What? That'd be fucking weird. Wait, dude. wait, what? Are we, are we doing sack? this? Yeah, get Is injections in your ball sack. That was a like Dave Chappelle joke. Get all the, yeah. Balls get the wrinkles out of his eggs. Mom. <laughs> Crazy. I think with that, we're going to fucking end this episode, guys. We are the last days of war. This is the last days of war cast. You guys, please check out our merch. Check out everything. We have links to everything in the merch. In the link 
in our bio. Fucking talking too fast. Thanks so much. We'll catch you on the next one.